So shock. Oh snap. Social science fiction. This is actually a new shock. It's shock human contact. Also very good. Very so similar. this game has a lot of crazy stuff going on. For one, you play two characters at all times. On the front side of your paper, you're playing your character. On the back side, you're playing the enemy of the character to your right. Remember we talked about games with no GM. This is one of those games, Well, right? it's you... not that there's no GM. It's that <laughs> there's five players, there's right. five There GMs. is no single GM, right? You go around in a circle. You're the enemy of the person to your right, and the person to your left is your enemy, and you're you. You still interact with the other people, so you don't want to just restrict it to three players, but it's mostly you and the people next to you, right? But everyone is the GM of one thing and one thing only. So when we played, I, I decided the game should have Space Pirates. So I was the GM, I owned Space Pirates. So in the course of the game, there's a question like, hey, how many Space Pirates are there in that sector? Oh, uh, there's about a million. That's totally Space Pirate land. That's their home base. My issue, the issue that I was the Game Master of, was gender politics. <laughs> it's that kind of game, the social The way fiction. the game yeah. starts, you come up with a list of five issues, and everything centers on those issues. You make the world and then play in it, and there's rules for that. Also, you set up the kinds of conflicts that can happen. In our game, all conflict, no matter what it was, had to be framed as either a space battle or sex. <laughs> and this worked. Like, every time there was a conflict, so basically you would get to your turn, you would probably have a conflict with someone else to your left or right, somewhere around, right? And that conflict, you know, you would narrate and get to the story. You had to resolve that conflict with sex or space battles, somehow. So look at this idea. Suddenly we've got a game where it's either this epic, millions of people dying, planets being destroyed, or a very intimate two people, and they're dealing with it like right in there, all on the bridge. It was very Flash Gordon. Very Flash Gordon. It was the most Flash Gordon. Right. <laughs> right. But I mean, what was that situation? You were like, uh, it was like a space senator or something? Yeah, I was some evil space senator, and I was trying to do some evil bullshit. I barely remember what I was right. doing. Right, and then like people were like sleeping with the space senator to get into the government to manipulate it, and people were also like shooting at the space senator's house with their freaking capital ships. <laughs> <laughs> the story of my character here, I'm not going to talk about my strength stat. That's not interesting. And it turns out that that's the only part of my character that is character, that is story, who he knows, what he's done, where he's going, why he fights for what he fights for. That's it. And that whole character sheet, that's it. Yeah, so, you're trying to tell me this is a role-playing game, but what percentage of it has anything to do with role-playing? That percent. And most of that is a picture. Now, you've been